Hi guys, thanks for clicking on a Salty Reflections video. We are on a barrier island beach today in South Carolina and we are going to explore this beach and see what we can find. And show you some of the ones that we've already found here. Well, we're in search of these big welts for the most part. We but, love big shells and we cannot lie. But there's lie. all types of stuff to see out here. We have some olives. You can see a little molt of a horseshoe crab, the sand dollar. Yep. We're hoping to fill this wagon up. How about the mermaid bracelet there, Scott? Oh yeah. Oh my God. Check out the size of that sand dollar. Wow. Gee. That's a huge sand dollar. There. It is huge. And it's actually broken in a couple spots, but that is We're huge. We're gonna keep that right, even though it's broken. If that's what you wanna do. That don't matter to me. Look how big. We have tons of them. We do. Why don't we leave it and let another beach goer come by and see it, maybe? We'll Always. leave it there. And here is the mermaid's bracelet that I had picked up right before that, as well as a piece of coral. I'm spotting something nice. Look, right there. Oh, I see it. Check that guy out. And it's got those pretty orange colors on the inside. And it looks like Oliver has found some rope. While we out here today, if we come across anything like this that may be able to pick up as trash, we will throw it on the car. We are committed to look out for the beaches here in South Carolina and ask you to be a part of that wherever you at. If you ever venture out to a beach, always leave with more trash than what you brought. When this tide pulls here, you'll be able to see a lot of our common shells the quahog clams, Ooh, see a couple different colors. And this dark black one, it's just gotten that color from being here in the pluff mud of our area. There's some white ones. And a lot of our shells have this bluish color. And it's the same thing, it's because of that mud that they're in, surrounded by in this area. Mussels, oysters, Tons of types of arcs. So all those are arc shells. Dystocenia. Oysters on top of oysters. So what we love to come out here and look for are either our other common shell here which are these big whelks which we can't turn down and occasionally we even pick up a few oysters even though they're pretty common here we like the the way that some of the groups of them are grouped together there's one right there and look at this pretty angel wing spotted on the way over there to pick up this lightning whelk it is pretty busted up though so i am gonna leave it and, no, and the angel wing whelk. oh it's not it's actually not a lightning whelk. We all get confused a yeah. little bit here and there. The, curv the skinny curvature here on the bottom and the way it was shaped and light made me think it was, but yeah, it's not. So just in comparison to this, oh, little live knob whelk here. You see he's sucking back in and this trap door is closing. This foot's down here in that siphonal canal. But the, the opening is on both sides of the right, so Oliver was exactly correct. That's not a lightning whelk, and I'll put this little fella right back down there in that tide pool. We don't take any live shells. Um, it's actually not legal on any beaches that I know to take live shells off the beach, and it's just, it's just not very ethical as well. So we do promote ethical shelling only. Same thing when you purchase shells or buy shells. Um, we recommend that you buy shells from individuals that you know are performing ethical shelling acts because there are shelling vendors out there but they actually go out and gather live shells and they I mean, for lack of a better word they basically just kill the the snail itself that grew the shell or the gastropods or the bivalves or whichever type of shell they are they they kill those shells basically just to sell the shells and all these shells that I'm passing right here, you can see just tiny coquina. Tons and tons of tiny coquina on the beach. 
along with oyster shells and cockles and clams. And you can see in that area, it's almost impossible to walk without stepping on them. Although this sandy area up here, you can. You can see this little sand dollar here. It is broken, but pretty little specimen. Big cockle, there's a better example of that. Oh, look at the little calico crab shell. Oh, it's broken as well. Pretty, pretty. And tons and tons of the coha clams, mussel shells, oyster shells, all stuck in these spartina roots. So I see a whelk right there. Try to make it to me and put your shell in the wagon, sir. Trying. I'm so distracted oh, out you here. Keep up with me pulling this wagon in. Yep, and it's very distracted out here because all these shells to me are like squirrel, 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 squirrel. <laughs> I'm like looking, looking. It's a great day to be shelling. The weather was kind of a cool ride out here, but it's nice now that we're out here as it's long as you got on a few layers of clothes. Boy laid up over oh, on wow. that bank. Wow. It's very curvaceous. I can see its beautiful curves and points from here. All I can see is the point. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Yeah. You know, when you get more points, how you get the cha-ching sign. Oh, like in the game? Way. I got yeah. you. Okay. Oh, look at that thing, though. Oh, look at that orange on the inside. That's cool. That is pretty. Pretty. Beautiful. Give a little look at the erosion that is occurring right here on the South Carolina beach. So all this area that you can see out here that has this brown texture used to be that green Spartina grass. So that just goes to show you the amount of erosion that we've had in this area that the salt water now comes up and covers it and it has eroded all this area out to where for whatever reason, all this group of oysters through here has died you can see the white specks that are down inside these grassy area or the gra root grass areas. So all these oysters have died as well as this whole Spartina grass area has been wiped out from the erosion. It's a sad sight to see. Stuff could get trapped down in these holes and all these divots. The same thing with all these little areas, divots through here. If you look at it like this, it almost looks like you're walking on the moon or something. Of course, we're still on the hunt for anything unusual. Pretty cockles. We have too many of those in our collection already, so we do collect a few every once in a while, but we, we try to limit ourselves on those. Ooh, look at there, this beauty. It looks like somebody Miss this puck right here altogether. Puck? Yep. Oh, look here. Beauty. Just kind of plain Jane in color, but it's still beautiful, isn't it? Anybody that agrees, make sure you leave that comment and let us know you like the plain shells too. They don't have to be all black or blue or orange. Although those are really pretty. Look at how black that cockle is. Wow. But we only got a little bit farther to go and I'm trying to get to the end of this beach. And we're only uh, several hundred yards away and our battery on our GoPro is getting weak. So I'm asking Steph, can she please, you know, move forward? I'm gonna move forward right over here to this big shell. Ooh, and I figured it did. It's got a hermit in it. And I hope you guys caught a glimpse of him before he tucked himself all the way back in there. And I can see his legs way down in there, but he's got a beautiful home. That big shark eye shell and another one here and i can see his leg sticking out right there oh he tucked himself down quick already too and then there's a drill shell here with a hermit in it a little tiny whelk with a hermit in it 
So those are all living little creatures. And again, he's taken off from me. <laughs> Oliver said the wagon's pushing him. Look at that little starfish there. It's called a red sea star. And he is in a little tide pool here, so I'm just gonna leave him alone. You can see my hand here, how small he is. He's trying to rush me. He doesn't know I'm trying to show y'all things. He does know, but he's just trying to show y'all things too, I guess. Made it to a point where a river's coming out that meets the ocean. And it's our turnaround point. We're about a mile and a half back to our boat. See another one right here as we step off. See if it's whole. It's buried under the sand. Oh, it sure is. Gorgeous, gorgeous orange on the inside of that one as well. Ooh, and a pretty olive. Look at that. Gorgeous sheen on that. You have a little better view of that color and i see another Ooh. and look at its colors from being buried under the sand right here it's kind of got an algae layer on the top one little black spot there on it <laughs> so oliver's come to gather up those goodies aren't those pretty they are no shell left behind right <laughs> <laughs> take us there out there's another We're doing the no shell left behind today. We brought our wagon and we want to fill it up with these trash. Gorgeous. And here's another. We all miss it. This one's pretty pitted and broken. The boring sponge has gotten a hold of that one. I'm gonna leave that one there. Hey, look here, stuff. Just came from this area here and I look back. Oh, I see it right there in the tide pool. Oh, is there two? There, this one's busted oh, up. Oh, I, I see can it, already yeah. see that. It's really a really, really big well that has been busted. Wow. But check this one here out. Oh, wow. Look at that dark blue color of that. And the little coral colored veins in it. Oh, I bet that inside will be pretty and orange too. I bet so. Or yellow, either way. Well, we'll find out here shortly. Y'all yeah, just hold on, stick with us. We're gonna get to that. Oh, let me rinse it out. It's really, really good for y'all. Hold on, now. Really? I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Here. Okay, it's got some oranges in it. That's pretty. This is pretty. For a shell that dark in color, I'm surprised to see that orange color. And I see another right here, a little one. A little small one here. A little small whelp. Yeah, that's a cool guy. Yeah. Look at that. We got to get the movement. We've already been through several GoPro batteries. We're on our last now, so if this happens to cut off, we hope you guys have enjoyed the video at whatever point it ends. We're gonna have to keep moving. Moving, moving, moving. That one there's pretty worn and broken. That one's whole though and orange. Look at that. We can't leave. We're in a shell heaven. This is killing me to pick up all these shells. You found some more? <laughs> no, these are just some that were like brought about. along with you from home. Well, me to your right. And our videos are true fire. They sure are. I just made that joke because people do ask us stuff like that, but ooh, that one's a lot bigger than I thought it was. 